welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We've got plenty of Polaris repairs. Um, hey guys, if you've been following my channel, I got the uh, Polaris Sportsman 6x6 500 all done. Tranny's all bolted in. Got her cleaned up real nice. So today, I was pretty stoked. I hit 4,000 subscribers. So all you subscribers out there that are watching my channel, I just want to shout out to you all. Thanks, I appreciate it. And uh, uh, you probably saw my latest video where the uh, transmission was uh, junk that I bought. So like I said, if you buy used parts, so watch what you buy. Um, I was pretty fortunate, um, the transmission I had, it had the crack case side. And I got a box full of goodies. So I ended up uh, tearing this transmission apart and putting her back together. Now everything moves free. I am in neutral. Uh, what it turned out to be was the uh, the roller bearings were sh shot, and this center gear right here is rusted tight. So when I would put it in drive, it would lock up. In the box goodies, this part was free. Everything spins nice. Now if I put it in the gear, everything works. I'm gonna go ahead, clean this up, put this back together, get it back in the six by six, and this thing should move. Stay tuned. So it's looking pretty green in the garage today. Got a couple four wheelers in here. I just wanna do a little overview of how I put the transmission in the six by six. It started to rain while I was outside, and you know, I should have videotaped it because it was pretty hilarious. Uh, just got the, uh, the tranny mounted and I was, uh, uh, dodging raindrops to get the clutch cover and the clutches on. So I'm going to give you a quick little overview of what I did. So you got a bracket on both sides of the transmission over here. Just unbolt it here, unbolt it here. There is a, a nut like this on the opposite side after you take your clutches off in the backing plate and you just spin that out. You back it off away from the tranny because that actually uh, holds the tranny in place. And then if you got a screw here, or I say a bolt here, and one on the other side behind the backing plate, and then down on the bottom, about here somewhere, I don't know if you can see, there's one long bolt that goes all the way across. I had removed the exhaust, and uh, after the clutches and the backing plate were off, took my linkages off, got everything unbolted, and she just came right out. It was actually pretty simple. Uh, I know it looks like a headache, but uh, there was nothing really to it. I mean, um, I put this transmission in in probably less than five minutes. And uh, I found out it wouldn't shift, so um, I had to tear it apart, rebuild it, and I put it back in like, probably only took me eight minutes. And then it started to rain. Got the clutches on, got this thing fired up, and I drove it in the garage. And uh, wouldn't you know it, it just stopped raining just as I did that. I guess my next step is I, I need to tighten the chains now because uh, that was the original issue in the first place. You got uh, a lot of chain slop here. So the, the chain hopped off the sprocket and cracked the case side. I should shoot a video on that one of these days. I actually have one in one, uh, one of my previous videos. Um, rebuilding a basket case, how I did that. So I found out this thing only had uh, 2,700 miles on it. And she looks clean. I mean, really clean. So my uh, last thing I need to do is put in that front drive shaft for the four wheel drive. I get that in, get that cover on, and I have to adjust my clutches yet. The sh there's a shim that goes behind the secondary. Well, one transmission had one size shim and another transmission had a little bit thicker shim. So I went with a thinner one and I noticed the belt is kind of making a, a goofy noise. So that's kind of telling me the, uh, uh, the secondary is probably in further than it needs to be. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that out, get everything lined up. And this bad boy should be good to go. So 
around 100 miles on it. Granny works good. You see it running and driving. Got it cleaned up real nice. She shifts good. All the goodies on it. Yeah, this thing's going to bring a good price. So, hey, uh, each state varies. So, if you're watching this video, give a shout out. Uh, let me know what you think this is worth. So keep in mind, it's got the block heater, extended foot wells, the box on the front, hand protectors. And she's got 2,700 miles on it. So thanks for watching guys, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. And like always, till next time.